welcome back to the channel. Bryson here, it's gonna be a super quick video. This isn't really planned out or anything. I just got back home from the gym and had an idea just to help you guys out when you don't feel like going to the gym or when you're, when you're achy, you're tired, and the gym is the last thing you wanna do because I had one of those days today. My intention with the video is just to show you that like, although you may have a workout template already planned out before you walk in, or at least you should, you definitely should have a, a, a set plan of the movements you wanna do. Sometimes it's just you don't feel it that day, you're, um, you're hurting and it's not smart to actually do that workout that you have written down. And so I just wanna show you how to auto-regulate and, and still show up and, and apply a stimulus to your body, even though it's not what you had planned. Okay, because that's what it's all about, just showing up and something is better than nothing is the intention with this video. So I'm actually gonna include a little bit of just footage I, I tried to record myself in the gym and, and kind of walk you through a voiceover on how I worked around my program. All right, so welcome to the footage. Um, so the biggest thing on a day like today, like I was experiencing just tons of quad tightness and my glutes were super tight, my lower back was barking, just everything hurt. Um, I was like falling asleep in the chair at work. Um, I wanted to skip the gym so bad, but I knew that, you know, it was gonna throw the rest of my week off. And so um, I, I just got in and you'll see here, like the biggest thing, if you can just get into the gym and start some stretching, start some ballistic movement. And like before this, I did 10 minute incline walking on a treadmill, got the blood um, flowing through my body, got my core temperature up. And um, here I'm just doing like, you know, like I said, some ballistic stretching, really trying to get blood um, flowing to those muscles that were super tight and aggravated. Um, I do these every time I'm doing any kind of deadlifting. Uh, I warm up my hip flexors with some step throughs. And so, uh, yeah, the intention of uh, my, my base workout I had planned was gonna be a heavy leg day, right? I was gonna do barbell deadlift from the floor for about three to four um, reps, heavy weight. And uh, I knew that was not gonna fly today. So, and, and by the way, here, this is really awesome to do. Like the point of a warm up is to get your core temperature up and to get your central nervous system stimulated and ready to lift heavy. So give these a try. This is kind of like a half burpee. I'm just trying to be as explosive as I can through the, on that jump through. And that gets you, uh, gets you ready to go. So, like I said, I had planned to do those heavy barbell deadlifts. So I subbed them here, you'll see, this is called a trap bar or a hex bar deadlift. So I lowered the weight just down to 295 and was doing like high rep sets of uh, to 10. And I love this movement anyway. It's a much safer movement than a um, barbell deadlift from the floor. There's left less hip, hip hinging, excuse me. Yeah, there's, um, and the load, the load, the weight actually moves up the midline of your body in, um, in a much safer fashion than pulling from the floor. Here's another view from, from the side. You'll see that I'm locking my core down. I'm taking a breath and just locking my abs and glutes and everything. I'm keeping them nice and firm, chest up, shoulders back. And so I'm, I'm just walking you through this because, you know, I'm showing you that, you know, something is better than nothing. I didn't stick to my intended workout that I had written down. And this is what it's all about. Just even on the days when you, when you don't think you have anything, just get in there. There's, there's really no excuses unless you are injured. Um, and so, yeah, I was going to do barbell front squats after those deadlifts. But like I said, my knees were really, really bothering me. And you'll see under those rad Chuck Taylors there that I have some 25 pound plates and that's elevating my heels. These are called uh, goblet squats, by the way. It's like you're holding a, a trophy or a goblet between your hands. That's why they call them that. And I was just using, using an 80 pound dumbbell with my heels elevated. And what that does is the heels elevated recruits your vastus medialis muscle, which is a muscle in the quadricep. Um, I knew I wasn't gonna be able to get a very good stimulus 
um, by not doing the front squat. So I, uh, I was just doing like slower controlled negative reps and um, really putting some time under tension on the quads. And uh, I found a way to hit it while keeping my core stable. You'll see I have the weight belt. I, you know, I dropped the ego, used the weight belt. And I did a movement that I knew was gonna be safe to load my spine because I do not wanna hurt myself. So take a note there. Um, these are called single leg glute bridges, another great exercise. I didn't, like I said, with my lower back bothering me, I didn't wanna do any other posterior chain or um, glute and hamstring movement where I was hinging from the waist. I'd already fatigued that with the deadlifts. So if your back is hurting, these are, an, these are a wonderful exercise to get your glutes and hamstrings. Uh, the ladies, the lovely ladies that are watching, this is an incredible movement for you. And uh, any guys that care about their posterior chain, which seems to not be many. <laughs> uh, yeah, these, try these for sets of like 15 to 20, just one leg elevated and pushing your pelvis towards the sky and really uh, feeling that contraction in your glutes and hamstrings. All right, so the footage actually cut off there. Uh, the workout was not over, but all I ended up doing was um, some ab work, and then I did farmer's carries, which is just carrying dumbbells across the gym. That's it's really gonna hit your core and your traps. It's a great exercise in your forearms and grip strength, okay? So, my just I just wanted to shoot that super quick and just let you know, like, it's okay that you're not feeling 100% all the time, okay? This is how you get around days of low motivation. This is how you get around days of low energy. This is at least how I do it, and, um, and to stay safe. So if your back is hurting, if your knees are hurting, um, you know, try to study and find movements. You really have to you know, know to a certain degree of biomechanics to know which exercises that are effective um, for replacing the ones you intended to do, okay? So if you have any questions, if I can help you in any way, as always, leave them down below, like, comment, subscribe. Keep coming back to this channel, guys, for great info. Uh, thank you so much. All right. Have a good one. Peace.